What is it they say? There's no exclusive use. Yeah. We live? Yeah. Okay, my name is uh, Bill Barron. I'm Lake County Commissioner. I'm the acting chairman today. Uh, Commissioner Des Decker is out. He had another appointment. Present is Commissioner Steve Stanley. And the uh, meeting today is for a requested amendment approval of SP 117 First Minor Subdivision. And what I will do is I'll let planning make their presentation. I'll see if the commissioners have any comments and then I'll open it up to the owner and applicant to say anything they'd like to. And with that, run with it. All right. So we'll start on page one on property description. SP 117 minor subdivision was granted preliminary approval by the Board of Lake County Commissioners on May 22nd, 1997 and recorded with the Lake County Clerk of Recorders on August 18th, 1997. The 29.23 acre subdivision created two residential lots. The nine acre lot for which is an for which an amendment is being requested is legally described as tract A of SP 117. A recorded subdivision located in with a portion of north one half of government lot four within section three township 22, section 31 township 22 north and range 19 west. The property is located northeast of Pablo along Farm Road, approximately two miles east of Highway 93. Track day is developed with a single family home as well as a mobile home. Both are used for single family residential purposes. There is no guest home on the lot. The applicants placed a mobile home on the property in 2001 for the use of the property owner's mother. While the mobile home was originally placed, the Board of Lake County Commissioners signed an approval for the use of two single family residences without changing the subdivision approval with specific conditions. The conditions included if the property owners had sold the property or if the property owner's mother no longer lived on the mobile, lived in the mobile home, then the agreement was to be null and void and agreement was only approved for two years from the date of issuance. For the applicant's narrative, after the mother was no longer living in the mobile home, she allowed her niece with two children to move into the trailer. They are now resided there for 13 years. Page two. In 2023, the property owner applied for a family transfer, which required an MDEQ approval. Part of that review was to require planning comments on the proposal. At the time, planning noted that the property needed to come to compliance prior to recording a tra family transfer. Uh, proposal, Scotty and Teresa Nelson, current owners of Track Day are requesting material amendment to the subdivision approval. The current approval states approval is for the creation of one additional single family residential tract to be developed with one single family residential unit per tract. The proposal is to allow a MOLA unit to stay on the subject property as a second single family residence and then move forward with a family transfer proposal. Subject property within a 10 acre density unit area per Appendix C of the 2018 Lake County Growth Policy, the subdivision contains 19.23 acres would contain three units, which would be approximately 6.14 acres of average density and requires a density deviation. The proposed density deviation would allow the overall subdivision to be developed with an acreage of 6.14 acre per unit development density. The density designation for the proposed subdivision is one unit per 10 acres surrounding the properties are primar primarily used for residential and agricultural purposes and generally, generally range from one acre to over 200 acres in size. The recent density deviation was approved on the property just west of the proposed property at 3.36 acres per unit. The Lake County Growth Policy discusses goals to promote and protect agricultural and timber resources along with protect water and air resources and fish and wildlife habitat. The subject parcel is currently developed with two single family units and would be would not be creating an additional unit on the property that is not prime agricultural timber land and is not known for prime wildlife habitat. There are no known waterways on the subject property. The requested deviation appears to meet all goals and objective objectives of the growth policy. The proposed density deviation would allow overall subdivision to be developed with an average of 6.14 acre unit development density. The density designation for the proposed subdivision is one unit per 10 acres. 
I'll go to number three. The proposal is for an already developed parcel. The parcel does not appear to be used for agricultural use. It is thickly vegetated by mature trees. The west parcel is agricultural tract on another side of farm road to the east and north south. East, north, and south are residential lots with agricultural uses. The approval for the use that has been occurring since 2001 is not likely to be disturbing or hazardous to the area. Number page three, number four. If the subject property complies with the conditions and approval of the property shall be sufficiently served by essential public facilities and services. The property access is directly from Farm Road, which connects to Corville Trail to the south and Mud Lake Trail to the north. Both of those roads connect to Highway 93 to the west. Utilities already serve the existing single family homes on the subject tract. No additional development is being proposed. Number five, the Proposed development should not result in additional cost to the public or public facilities. Is service provided to the proposed development complies with all conditions of approval. Number six, the proposal should not have additional conditions that result in traffic, noise, smoke, fumes, glare, dust, odors, and vibration than what is normal for such residential uses and surrounded by other residential and farmland uses consist within proposed areas. Seven, the approach is existing and access was reviewed and approved under the 1993 subdivision regulations, as this is not a second lot, but a second dwelling on the lot. Additional review and act, additional review of access and driveway are not required. Any changes to the approach in the future will require review and approval by Lake County Road Department. Empty attachments. The applicant is requesting an amendment to the current subdivision approval, which states an approval for the creation of one additional single family residential tract to be developed with one single family residential per unit per tract. There have been two residential dwellings on the property since 2001 with the Board of Lake County Commissioners approved the two year use for the mobile home on the property owner's mother. The applicants would like to continue the two single family residential dwellings on the property. Planning staff recommends that if this approval is amended that this should read as follows. This approval is for the creation of one additional single family residential tract to be developed with one single family residence per tract, except for tract A, which has been approved for no more than two single family residential units. A single family residential unit may include dependent guest house in compliance with MDEQ approval. No more than one mobile home unit may be in use on the property at one time. So, then considering staff's analysis for the amendment, this is on page five, to the subdivision approval and that the public comment was in support, staff believes that the Board of Lake County Commissioners could approve the requested subdivision approval amendment to allow track day of SP 117 to have two single family residences, one being a mobile home with the following terms and conditions. Then I'll read off the conditions here. Condition number one, no commercial use is permitted on the lot, which includes, but not limited to short-term vacation rental. Number two, prior to recording the subdivision amendment, the applicants must obtain comments from Lake County Environmental Health Department and shall meet all requirements of the department. Number three, no more than one mobile unit may be used on the property at one time. That concludes the report. Thank you. Steve, do you have anything you'd like to comment on right now? I guess a question. So the commissioners agreed to let gravel stand in the trailer for two years, and then gravel passed away. So at that point, the trailer should have left, correct? Correct. And it didn't. I didn't realize that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the only question I have, Bill. So that's, that's why we're here today. Mm. Um, I guess I'll wait and um, I'll let you make any comments you'd like to. I just don't want it. I have your name first, sorry. Reese Nelson. Thank you. I don't want the amendment. I looked for my niece to live down there. I don't want it to affect my daughter, my son, for me to give them that property to and have to transfer that land to them. By by doing this process, they'll be able to do a family um, transfer. Yes, they just need to 
get the approval first and then they can continue. Okay, so we need you. Even when we do this, they still have to get that. Mm -hmm. They still have to follow through. But this won't, hin this won't hinder that. No. That answer your question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess. Want to the transfer to my agent? No. no. Okay. But it, but it's not the end of the process. You still have to go through another approval to get it. But this won't affect it negatively. It won't. No. Okay. Okay. We're working with Jacob Feisner right now. Too. We've already did a lot on that. Jacob's the transfer. Jacob's a good choice because he actually ran the planning office at one point in time, so he oh, really okay. understands the ins and outs. And I don't understand about the one mobile property and one mobile home in use on the property. Does that is for all the acreage or is it just for where my trailer is or is that? Acreage. So it looks on tract A that they're allowed uh, single family residents and then the mobile home unit, but there can't be another mobile home unit on there as well. So there can't be two in use. So just, so just tracks. Yeah. So in the, the land transfer, my daughter, she should be able to put a mobile home on the transfer part. Yeah, if that transfer is made, that'll be a completely separate piece from mm -hmm. the piece that's okay. there now. So it won't be under those restrictions. Okay. So you're just saying I can't put any more mobile homes on that? On that Other than Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything else, Steve? I know. Okay. Um, the findings don't need to be changed, so we don't need a motion or vote on that. Um, so we'll go to the... I think you still need to move to accept the findings, Bill. Yes, well, I get okay. We can do that. So I'll entertain a motion to accept the, the findings of fact as stated. I will make the motion. No amendments. Okay. So then we need to go to the conditions. You need a motion to accept the conditions of amendment rule? Yes. Uh, first, you just made out of you made a motion first, so let's do that one. Oh, okay. And then you can make your second motion. I guess we need to vote, don't we? Yeah. I'm I'm hurrying things up. You're here, fine. Sorry. I got you. <laughs> All in favor of the motion to uh, accept the findings as stated with no amendments. Aye. Aye. Carried. Okay. Now the conditions of amendment approval. I would make a motion that we accept the conditions of amendment approval. A motion's made. I'll second it. Uh, you guys read the conditions of the amendment approval? Just a little. Yeah. There's three of them at the bottom of page five. No commercial use is permitted on the lot, which includes, but not limited to, short-term vacation rentals. Prior to recording the subdivision amendment, the applicants must obtain comments from the Lake County Environmental Health Department and meet all the requirements of that department. And number three, no more than one mobile home may be used in the property at one time. And how does just, number two work? That is, would you want to explain that? Yeah, so prior to the subdivision amendment going through, um, comment from Lake County Environmental Health Department, so that's just with MBEQ as well. So to continue the process, this is part of their requirement is to go through the approval of the subdivision to change the amendment. And then once this is approved, it can go back to MDEQ with environmental health. Okay, what do I do on that end? Um, right now, you're fine. And how long will that take to get approval from that? Um, I don't know for MDEQ. Okay. That is a environmental health, but I'll need to give that. No, I have a lady to go out there and test the mm -hmm. stuff and everything. So. That would be Diana's office yes. upstairs that you can okay. go to in the environmental health office. So I don't have to do nothing at this point. No. Not that I'm aware of. No. Okay. And they'll just send a letter or something. Mm -hmm. I'll email you after. Okay. Everything. Okay. Okay, so there's motion. Any further comments? I see Jeremy's question. 
in a motion made and seconded to approve the conditions of amendment approval. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And there's no one against it. So the conditions are approved. And now I would entertain an amendment. And amend. I would entertain a motion to approve the amendment approval of SP 117 to first minor subdivision. I would make that motion. Okay, make a motion to approve the uh, minor, sub minor subdivision amendment approval. There is one thing I wanted to make sure in here. We, we want to make sure the wording is what the planning staff recommended mm -hmm. um, on page four. So we just need to make a note of that in the. Okay, all right. So there's been a motion made, seconded. Any more discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 The amendment approval has been granted. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Can we still, still continue to go through Jacob then with yeah. the transfer after? Jacob. Can we start that now or do we have to wait for DEQ with this? You can let Jacob know that this was all approved today and stuff, and he'll direct you on where to go from there. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Meeting is. Yes.